fun to practice camping with a cabin next door. The idea would be to stake them out, put some straw down, and they sleep in straw every night anyway. We're going faster, I wonder why. Nope, nothing. They smell something up here. Um, put some straw down, and then I would sleep out, you know, next to them in a sleeping bag. And we'd all just camp out. And if we got cold or, you know, something went wrong or, I don't know, a dog is crying all night for whatever reason, we just, we could, we could all move into the cabin and that would be fine. But we used the stakeout cable to picket them as we got ready, for, as we got ready to take off. So, you know, we attached it to the car bumper and attached it to a little tree and got the dog set to go. And then we took off and at some point down the trail, both Rob and I were like, oh. The picket line. We ended up camping four people and nine dogs in about a 16 by 16 cabin. And I didn't sleep as much as I might want to. Next time we're camping out. Hey, uh, the line out. 
You need to line out, and this is where you stay. You stay over here. No. Hi, big dogs. Gotta wait. Right, here. Right, here. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Just relax. No, just relax. Just, just okay. What good dogs you are. Look at those wagon tails. You happy? You having a good time? You having a good time? Brought a lot of gear. Not a lot of gear, but more gear than we would have, we would have taken on our backs. Because we have a new sled bag. A, uh, a musher at the musher saw saw our, our sled bagless sled and said, Hey, I got an old sled bag that I don't use anymore. You want it? 50 bucks. We're like, well, let's have a look at it. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful sled bag. Anyway. So it's chilly this morning. I don't know how chilly. I'd take a guess at... I don't know how chilly. I'd take a guess at 10 below. I can much without a face mask on. My nose is chilly. And there's a little bit of frost in my mustache, I think. Yeah, some frost. The dogs are having a great time. They're pulling hard. Pulling steady. It seems like the longer we go, the more they just sort of fall into a rhythm. You know, if we only do five miles or 10 miles with an empty sled, they just sort of sprint it and push real hard and go too fast and then get real tired. Whereas this, relatively heavy sled, relatively long distance for them and they've settled into this very nice trot a very nice rhythm and they just they just plug along it's really lovely to see whoa okay ready let's go down up his co-lead. He really likes to pull hard. I thought Verb was going to be our leader of the two puppies. And Verb likes to pull hard, but he's super curious. He's always looking around, sniffing this, sniffing that, going back and forth, trying to, you know, he pulls on the neckline, trying to sniff the edge of the trail. He's just, he's just a curious, interested dog, which is lovely, but doesn't make him a really good leader because he's not focused on getting ahead, whereas now he just seems singularly focused on pulling hard doesn't necessarily make him a leader either, but gives him, gives him some good potential. And Adiz seems to be losing some of his, uh, I don't know, there's only so many dogs that can solo lead. Most dogs prefer to have, from my understanding anyway, most dogs prefer to have a, have a, have a buddy next to them, which makes sense to me. And Adi did pretty well for a little while, beginning of the season. But I think he's enjoying having a buddy next to him. It's nice to have good dogs on by, on by. On by, let's go, come on. It's good that uh, Noun's up there with him. He's not, he was looking behind a lot, looking over his shoulder. And now he's just, he's just pulling along. Down next to him. Verb like stand next to Alapa. Everything looks good. The shape of the team is coming together.
So I just learned that the case of my little GoPro is made of metal. I wasn't able to uh, press the record button with my mitten. My mitten thumb was too thick. So I used a tooth. And then my tongue stuck to, stuck to the edge of the camera. I'm like, that, that, that. Would have been a pretty funny recording if it stuck any longer. You would have heard some plaintive cries. 